Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. Uh, this is going to be lesson 42B. This is just going to be building on the uh, lesson we started off uh, in 42A. We created a little profile that would log your car's location anytime your phone disconnects from your car's Bluetooth. And that way if you needed to find your car, you had a button you could click, it would guide you straight to that location. But there may be certain locations you don't want that to happen. Uh, it's pointless uh, if you're parking in your garage or your driveway for that to trigger. It doesn't need to trigger. You're at home. You know where your car is. Um, more than likely at work, you don't need that to trigger because you know where your car is. So using auto location, we can set that up. Auto location is just one of the many auto app plugins, which are all amazingly awesome uh, plugins. And uh, this one allows you to set up different areas uh, to have things trigger or not trigger. So let's go into auto location. Um, the main thing you're going to use is when you first uh, get it, start monitoring. You'll, you click that so that it will start monitoring. Um, actually, geofences are what you really want it to, to monitor. And then uh, is to set up geofences. This uses the Google location services, uh, which Google has an API which is available and uh, the uh, auto apps uh, developer uh, plugged into those and has made great use of them with Tasker. So we're going to manage geofences. You'll see I already have home and work set up and you can see it knows right now that I'm inside my home geofence and then I'm outside my work geofence. And since it knows that, things can be triggered based on that. We're going to set up a new one. Now you can search for a particular dress or something if you want to, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to set one up for the grocery store. When I go to the grocery store, I uh, uh, don't need, if you long press, it switches views from uh, map view to uh, Google Earth view. But when I go to the grocery store, I don't need to remember my, where I parked my car because it's a very small parking lot. So I'm going to tap it and that opens up the geofence. You can make it larger or smaller to cover the area. So that pretty well covers because the grocery store is right here in this little area. So by doing this, now anytime I'm in that area, it will know. And when I'm outside of that area, it will know. So I'm going to click Accept Geofence. I'm going to name that Ralph's. Oops. Ralph's. And then I'm going to click OK. So the Geofence monitor has been started. And right now it knows that I'm outside of Ralph's. So. Let's get out of here and let's go into Tasker and go back to that profile that we uh, created last time. So right now, when I disconnect from Bluetooth, it triggers, but we can also have uh, add additional uh, parameters to the profile uh, for the triggering. And so I'm going to long press that. I'm going to click add. I'm going to click think for this I'm gonna go with it's either event or state let's try state have our time remembering and then plug in and then auto location so I think I was right and so I'm gonna say geofences so geofence I'm gonna click the little edit button and this is how I uh, uh, can choose a geofence so I'm gonna click that and choose Ralph's And then I'm going to click invert. Invert means if it was regular, it means when I'm inside it, it will it'll be the only time it'll trigger. But clicking invert, it means when I'm outside of it. So now you can see there's two triggers here. Trigger number one is Bluetooth disconnecting from uh, my car. Trigger number two is I'm not inside the uh, geofence named Ralph's. So only if, I'm, if, I'm, if I go to Ralph's and I park, my phone will disconnect from my Bluetooth, but I will not be outside of this geofence, so this will not trigger. And so you would set that up for your home, you would set that up for work. Um, really, just the, the, for me, I just set it up for uh, those two locations, but you could set it up for the grocery store or a couple of other places if you wanted to where you know you go there frequently and you don't need your phone trying to find your location and save your location when you go to those places. 
And so that's how you uh, can make this a little bit more advanced. Uh, add home and work geofences and then set it to not trigger when you're in those. And so we'll only remember your car location when you disconnect from Bluetooth and you're not inside of those specific places you set up. Pretty simple. Of course, auto location can be used for other things. You can use the context. I have one that puts my phone in vibrate when I disconnect from my Bluetooth and I'm at work. When I'm inside my work geofence, uh, it uh, automatically puts my phone into vibrate. So um, you can use auto location for all kinds of uh, cool location triggers. Um, it is by far the best way uh, to use location triggers within Tasker. Um, so if you don't have the app, get it, buy it, pay for it. It's well worth it to have auto location. It really enhances a tasker when it comes to location stuff. Anyway, um, that's it. Pretty simple lesson, pretty easy to do. Just added the, you know, added that little uh, extra thing. Uh, and just wanted to show you guys how you could do that using the auto location tasker plugin. So that is it for this lesson. If you like this lesson, please click that like button, share it with anyone you know who might be interested, check out my channel, all kinds of, uh, uh, make sure you check out all the other tasker tutorials if you haven't already. If you go through every single one of them, you will be a tasker Jedi when you finish because uh, it really helps you learn just all different aspects of Tasker. Also, I have tons of product reviews, gadgets, uh, smartphone and tablet accessories, um, electronics, household appliances, even dog products, lots of cool stuff. Check that out if you have an Android phone, and I don't know why you'd be watching this. If you didn't, then you should check out my Android app reviews, because I have about 100 plus uh, apps that I've reviewed, and they're only apps that I think enhance your phone and make your phone better, so well worth checking that out as well. Anyway, that is it until next time, so have fun with Tasker.